Bob Jewell. I'm your tour guide for the AOS days. These facilities are perfect built, designed for your high security requirements with eight inches of concrete on all six sides. Bunker construction helps you, helps us meet your requirements for high security. Follow me. You're now descending 14 foot below grade, 8 foot into bedrock. During the construction of this facility, we did seismic and uh, geotechnical uh, borings to be able to assure that the foundations were of the highest quality. The facilities are extremely robust. We've created this as an executive office uh, space so that customers are comfortable, but the uh, construction is very, very robust. Seismic rated to 6.5 on the rector scale with no structural damage. This is our 40 person training facility that we're able to uh, train our clients on all the technologies that we use in our data center. Our data center is built on multi layers of security. This is the first layer going into our network operation center. It is card access. We're in our network operations center. It's manned 7 by 24, 365 days a year. We have over 25 help desk and network operations center associates on our staff today. And we're growing at 20 to 30 percent a year uh, with the growth of our data center. Let's talk about some of the things that we monitor here. First, up here we see our power and infrastructure. This is a, using an APC infrastructure central application that is an SMP monitor for power and cooling. You see snowflakes there. You see one snowflake that has a red alert on it. That particular snowflake has a humidity uh, alert. All those are monitored in real time and we're currently monitoring well over 2,000 points within our data center. We uh, monitor eight different suites in this uh, data center in two buildings, and our DR facility in Missouri uh, is also monitored for power and cooling. You see battery symbols up there. Those are uninterruptible power supplies. And you see the uh, power strips, which are individual metered power strips within every rack of the data center. This particular facility is our 200 ton redundant chiller system for our building too. Now we use industrial cooling here at NIS so that we have highly capable and highly accurate uh, chill water that cools all of our data center facilities. All the air conditioning for the data center is separate from the individual building, office building uh, cooling as well. So very, very specific. Uh, we monitor and maintain the chill water temperature within one half of one degree uh, on an annual basis. So very, very tight uh, performance. And this is controlled. This is a Johnson Controls uh, uh, graphic. And so we monitor several thousand points on our chiller system to make sure that it's fully operational. 125 ton chiller unit for building one. These work in tandem, they're multiply redundant. In this particular case, this has eight different compressor units that provide redundancy and resiliency for the uh, chill water systems within this facility. Here we have our video surveillance systems. These monitor all the buildings and both inside and outside the data center. These facilities are recorded, digitally recorded, and kept for 90 days. 
In addition here we have one of our monitoring tools that uh, is monitoring our internet connections. Today we have four internet connections with two gig of bandwidth to the internet. As you can see it's monitored in real time and uh, we have plenty of capacity for your internet needs. We are currently monitoring well over 8,000 different points in our monitoring just for inside the data center. And then here is our customer experience monitor that is a probe out on the internet looking back at our data center. We see that there are some things that have slow response time. Here our friends in Blue Valley uh, have an issue with a server but we've notified them that that has occurred. That particular customer is an off-site customer outside of our data center. All of our data center uh, customers typically experience a web page load of less than 30 milliseconds. So very, very fast response time for anyone accessing our, our data center facility. Our data center is staffed 7 by 24. We have a unique escalation facility. Our Tier 1 NOC staff is very knowledgeable and highly certified. But if they can't solve a problem that we have come into the help desk, either by monitoring or by a ticket or a phone call from the customer, we have a 30-minute escalation uh, policy where a problem is escalated to a Tier 2 person within 30 minutes and then a Tier 3 person within an hour. So you can have, within an hour of a problem, coming into our help desk, a senior level, CCIE for example, working on your problem and we work till it's resolved for severity one uh, outages. Follow me.